Hi boys and girls, welcome to Learning with Mrs. Ferrari, where I believe every boy and girl can learn. I want you to have a growth mindset. Never give up. Keep on trying. So let's look at logical deduction. So what is logical deductions? that involve making conclusions. So once you're doing this type of question, you're asked to, to, to make a conclusion based on given information. So that's key. Logical deductions are like solving puzzles or mysteries by thinking carefully and using the information that you have been given. It's about figuring things out step by step. Just imagine you are a detective and you need to solve a mystery. You've, you are given clues and by putting those clues together, you can make smart guesses or draw conclusions. That's what logical deduction is about. All right, so what are the steps to logical deductions? One, read and understand. So make sure that you carefully read the clues and make sure you understand them. Two, you're going to combine the clues. Think about how the clues work together. Can you combine them to figure out something new? Three, you're going to eliminate possibilities. And this is important. Remember, you're doing a multiple choice test, right? So once you have put your clues together, you can eliminate some possibilities. So use the clues to eliminate options until you find the most likely answer. And fourth, you're going to make a logical guess. So based on the clues, make smart guesses or deductions. It's like connecting the dots to see the bigger picture. So let's look at an example here and it's called the, the color puzzle. So clue one says the red item is smaller than the blue item for me. I prefer to draw and represent so I can see that, you know, I can visualize. I can see exactly what it's talking about. I tend to love to draw. So whatever strategy you use to make sure that you understand what each st statement is saying, that's fine. For me, I draw. So that's a good habit that you can probably develop too. You can make your little sketches in order for you to see what you are doing and to understand what you are doing. So for clue one, it says the red item is smaller than the blue. So I drew a little red item and it should be smaller than the blue. So I made the blue a little bigger. And clue number two says the green item is larger than the blue. And then I drew a green item and it must be larger than the blue. So those were the two clues that I, I was given, right? Now, what am I to deduce from that information is or what color is the smallest item? And based on, on my sketch here, just by looking at it, you will realize that the red item is the smallest item. So this is another example of a logical deduction question. So it says the number, clue number one says the number is greater than 20. So, you know, greater than sign, greater than 20, that means anything above 20, so 21 and upward, right? And clue number two says the number is divisible by five. So if a number is divisible by five, once you divide it by five, you would not get a remainder. Um, and those numbers would also be multiples of 5. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Based on the two clues, the number must be greater than 20, but divisible by 5. And in this question, we were given some responses. So A says 5. So remember, one of the things we can do is eliminate because clue number one says the number is greater than 20. This is less. So we eliminate 5. We eliminate 15 because it's less also. And 20, it's greater than 20. So 20, we eliminate 20 and we're left with 25. And that's the only answer we're left with. So we know that that's correct, but we can prove our answer, right? So let's look back at the criteria that was given. The number is greater than 20. Yes, 25 is greater than 20. And the number is divisible by 5. Uh, 25 is divisible by 5. And so we know that our answer is correct. The key thing with ability 
you must be able to prove your answer. Think about it. It's, a, it's, it's uh, abilities testing your reasoning skills. How are you able to reason or to prove that your answer is correct? All right, so this example here says uh, family relationships. So in this clue, it says Sarah's father is also Peter's father. So Sarah's father is Peter's father. So both Sarah and Peter, they have the same father. That's what I'm understanding from that. All right, so we could write the word father, F for father, and we put Sarah and Peter because they have the same father. And the second clue says Sarah's mother is also Peter's mother. Hmm, this is an easy one. So both of them actually have the same father and mother. And what was the question that we need to answer? What do we need to deduce from this? It says, how are Sarah and Peter related? So they are our siblings, right? And that's your answer. So just continue to practice and uh, your logical deduction questions. And uh, all the best on your exam, boys and girls.